Welcome and thanks for watching. Today we're gonna be putting some rounds through this little 22 Smith & Wesson semi-automatic pistol. It's model 22A-1. Now, I've had these in the past and they performed and no problem with cycling. Pretty accurate little 22 pistol. Now we put an optic on this. To, uh, we don't really shoot a lot with this type of uh, optic on pistols but uh we're going to give it a try and uh we got out here a little earlier and i think we got it sighted in pretty good now it's got a safety and this is it holds back on the last round it has a 10 round magazine and i like this because it kind of you can pull it down there to load that it makes it easier to load them the trigger pull is not bad the reel goes all the way from one end of the barrel to the other so uh, and it does have adjustable left and right winded and elevation uh sides back sides fixed front sides so uh and this is rubberized kind of like that and the front now your mag release is right here you just flip that and out comes the mag so uh, put a few rounds in uh, the top target there and just see how it's doing and uh, uh give me a few shots and then we're just gonna bust some targets at random. All right, we're gonna put one mag through here. We're using CCI mini mags, and these are uh, 40 grain, 1,235 feet per second. And uh, a Gila, these are 38 grain, and guys, I cannot see the feet per second on that. So, but these are, yes, yes, I do see it. It is 1,280 feet per second, and... Uh, hollow points copper plated hollow points all right so we're gonna now the first thing we're going to be running is uh the the cci so the 40 grain and let's see how they do let me turn this on and we'll uh do some shooting top target It's putting them right in there a little bit low, but not bad. I mean, I'll go up and get that target and show it to you. And uh, then we're gonna, just gonna bust some targets and have some fun. Now, that's not a bad little group, a little bit low, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I must've just had nine in there or we went through the same hole because there's no other hose in it. And not bad. So we're gonna load back with the Aguila and then we're gonna shoot some of these bottles and targets we got here and just have some fun. So uh, stick right with me and we'll be right back. Just going to get loaded up. We've only got one mag for this, so we're just gonna have to reload. All right. Okay, we're loaded back up and uh, I would tell you the name of this little optic, but uh, I got this also used and they are, let's see. All it is on here is set screw it's a red or a green dot you can switch it to either one and but i see no name whatsoever but it seems to adjust in pretty good and stay there so all right let's bust some more of these targets and see what we can do <laughs> let me get my plugs on here all right now <laughs> i don't know if you can see them or not but there are some shotgun shell holes back at the back on top of uh two of those shiny cans to the right uh <laughs> i'm gonna take a little bit of a rift here and see if i can bust one of those uh all right hang on just a second i'm gonna give it a couple shots We got the shotgun still hole oh, after it fell down. All right, guys, let's bust some cans. Let's see here, how about that one got it? That one. We're hitting it. There we go. And I think we just had a dud. 
No, yeah. Those is not working a slide back on this one. Uh, the CCI mini mains are working it back, but now the Aguila uh, didn't seem to want to work them back. So we're gonna, and don't look like they're shooting as good as the CCIs neither, because uh, I wasn't uh, having any problem with the CCIs. So we're gonna load back up with the CCIs mini mags. And these are not hollow points, these are round nose. Uh, so, and uh, bust some more targets, have some fun. Uh, I've owned several of these Smith & Wesson's, like I tell you, and uh, they've been real reliable little pistols. So, I mean, uh, again, these have been around for a while. But uh, they are a good shooting little pistol, at least for me, they have been. All right, let's try that bottle with the CCEIs. Got it, let's try it again. There we go, let's try that again. We're getting it. I'm trying to hit it at the bottom, there we go. Let's see, how about that target? How about that little one? There we go. And... <laughs> 10 rounds goes fast when you're having fun. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna load back up 10 more. All right, let's try for some of these lower cans here. There we go, there we go. Try that ball on the top, there we go, there we go. Let's see, how about uh, the knockdown target? Here? There we go, and we're out again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put one more round of these Aguilas in, and uh, we're just see how fast we can shoot it. Just to give you an idea uh, how they cycle, I mean, these little pistols, uh, like I say, that held back on the last round. I'm liking this little optic. That's uh, it's a little bit of getting used to because it's not really used. Uh, I've shot some pistols and stuff with the uh with the optics uh but uh, not really uh practiced a lot with them or done anything like that so uh but uh my, i'm kind of liking this one and i'll try to find out the name on that might have to take it off it might be under the bottom of it or something but seems to be okay it set in real easy you got your up and down, then it locks down so they won't move after you get that. They got two lock nuts, and it has red and green reticle. So, all right, let's try that silhouette. Okay, that's all right there in the wad, guys, and it held back that time with the Aguilas. Uh, I, I am noticing that some of those are not cracking as loud as the others. And I don't know why that is. It's a brand new box of ammo. So, uh, but anyhow, guys, a Smith & Wesson 22A-1. Pretty nice little pistol. 22. Out there having fun with it. And uh, they're always uh, reliable and shoot every time. And pretty accurate. So, guys, we appreciate you watching. We thank you for all those views and comments. And uh, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything. And give us a big thumbs up if you like it. It seems to help. And get down in the comment section and tell us if you've got one of these and how it does. And we'll see you the next time on The Walk With Al. Thank you ever so much for watching. We appreciate it.